Hello, and welcome to the GFI LandGuard session of the GFI Software Quick Install Guide series. In this session, we're going to look at the GFI installation prerequisites before installation, go through the GFI LandGuard installation and pre-configuration process, and verify successful operation and function of GFI LandGuard post-install. We hope this guide helps in the installation process for you, our new and evaluating customers, to get a good head start on using GFI LandGuard for your business. First, let's take a look at the GFI LandGuard prerequisites. Before installing GFI LandGuard, make sure that the following prerequisites are met so that the installation process is successful and trouble-free. Before downloading the GFI LandGuard installer to a server for use, determine the total amount of machines that you'll be managing with GFI LandGuard. This will give you the information you need to determine what resources will be required on the GFI LandGuard server. For use with up to 100 endpoint machines, a dual-core 2 GHz or higher processor, along with 2 GB of memory, and 5 GB of usable hard disk storage space is needed. For 100 to 500 endpoint machines, a 2.8 GHz or higher dual-core processor, along with 4 GB of memory, and 10 GB of usable hard disk storage space is needed. For 500 or 1500 and more endpoint machines, two 3 GHz quad-core processors, along with 8 GB of memory and 20 GB of usable hard disk storage space is needed. We want to make sure that your GFI LandGuard server is operating as optimal as possible, so be sure to calculate the resources needed based on the number of machines to be managed. Please note that above a 2,000 endpoint machine count would need an additional instance of GFI LandGuard on an additional server in your environment. After determining the proper server resources are met and you are ready to install GFI LandGuard, be sure to have the following software prerequisites met as well. Microsoft Windows XP Professional, Windows 7 Business, or Microsoft Windows Servers 2003, 2008, or higher, Microsoft.NET Framework, version 3.5, Service Pack 1 or higher should be installed. Microsoft Data Access Components, or MDAC 2.0, is also required. Since GFI LandGuard stores information to be sent to the end machines to a database, Microsoft SQL Express or Microsoft SQL Server is needed. Microsoft Access databases are supported as well, but only recommended for very small deployments. After verifying that all of the requirements are met, we're almost ready to begin the installation. Please note that if any antivirus or security software is present on the server, it must be temporarily disabled for the installation process. This will prevent the installation from becoming corrupt or unusable. Once the installation is complete, you may re-enable the antivirus or security software. Installing GFI LandGuard we verified that the requirements are in place and no antivirus or security software will prevent a clean install, so let's go ahead and run the GFI LandGuard installer package. Make sure that you're logged in as an administrator so that proper elevated credentials allow for access to Windows Registry and network access control to the endpoints. After running the installer package, we'll select the appropriate language. Once all of the components are downloaded and installed, the GFI LandGuard setup wizard appears. Read and accept the terms of the GFI software end user license agreement and click Next. Provide the administrative username, company name, and the license key in the appropriate text boxes and click Next. Provide the domain and administrative user credentials in the appropriate text boxes and click Next. Verify the installation path, either the default auto-populated path or specify your own and click Install. Depending on the resources available for your new GFI LandGuard server, the installation process may take a few minutes. 
So we're going to move things along just a bit to the installation completion stage. Once GFI LandGuard Setup Wizard installs the files to your designated directory, your installation is complete. If you wish to run GFI LandGuard directly after the install, leave the box checked next to Launch GFI LandGuard and click Finish. Upon running GFI LandGuard, you will initially see the official GFI LandGuard initialization banner. After the installation is complete, the main user interface will open to the home screen. An alert that no settings have been configured will now show at the bottom. Under the current vulnerability level pane, you will notice the Not Available status. This is due to the initial local scan not yet being performed. This will automatically start shortly. Notice that the vulnerability level gauge will now change to a scrolling scan indicator. This shows that the initial local scan has initiated and will assess the local vulnerabilities first. Rolling the mouse pointer over the pane will allow you to click and view the status of the current local scan. When clicking on the View Status pane, you are now automatically taken to the scan view and a live account of the scanning process is visible for the local server. Since this is the first time logging into the GFI LandGuard interface, an alert flag will appear at the bottom of the interface window stating that no alerting configurations or email servers for notifications has been configured. This can be ignored and closed by clicking the X to the right of the notification bar and configured after the local scan completes. After completing the local scan, navigate to the main dashboard. This will now show you an overview of all of the protection status of your local machine and any machines that are being monitored. You have now completed the installation of GFI LandGuard and are now ready to configure it for use within your network. Thank you for spending the time with us and choosing GFI LandGuard for your business. We hope that this guide has helped you in your installation process. If you have any additional questions or need further assistance, please contact our technical support team at www.support.gfi.com forward slash support or call us toll free at 1-855-832-6434.